Scientists in Georgia think they might have found out how all life started on Earth. Yeah, we're about to get real. Strap in. Anthony here for D News, and if there is one question we all want the answer to, it's where did we come from? And now researchers at the Georgia Institute of Technology think that they have figured out a crucial component of the answer. So, about 3.5 billion years ago, the Earth is a lifeless, oxygen-free environment, and then at some point, bacteria form and start converting all the carbon dioxide, and methane, and ammonia, and turning it into oxygen. But we've never been sure where that bacteria came from. Earth's oceans at the time were filled with all kinds of minerals, including a lot of iron. If you've heard the term primordial soup, that's what we're talking about. Earth's original atmosphere and mineral-filled oceans. So the idea is that in the soup are all the things that you need to make RNA, and then the RNA interacted with something, some sort of chemical reaction or spark, and started creating all of that bacteria and all life on Earth. Now, there have always been a couple problems with this theory. First of all, RNA isn't really capable of making life on its own. Your DNA has all the instructions for making you and the ability to transfer that information. RNA basically acts as a messenger. It takes the instructions from your DNA and it uses them to make proteins. Without DNA and protein-based enzymes, RNA doesn't survive. So the second thing is that there was nothing in the environment that anyone could find that would jumpstart the ability to create life. I mean, there are theories that lightning did it. Another theory is that there was an impact from space, but that's mathematically silly. So here's what the team in Georgia found. If they recreated the primordial soup in a chamber, RNA actually changed. It started behaving differently in an environment without oxygen. It was almost like it reactivated a function that it hadn't used in billions of years. It shape-shifted and all of a sudden became an instruction carrier, kind of like DNA. And when they teamed it up with that iron from the soup, it performed a single electron transfer. That means it jump-started the reactions needed for photosynthesis and respiration. RNA, together with iron, created the basis for an eating, breathing thing. Boom, life on Earth. Bacteria forms, oxygen into the atmosphere. 3.5 billion years later, we're all reblogging sloth gifs on Tumblr. Now, there are a few holes in this theory. If you asked, hey, where did that RNA come from in the beginning of the world? You are asking the right question. See, all the components of RNA were in the soup, but they're not components that like to bond easily though there have been some successes in making it happen in a lab. But how crazy is that, right? RNA, this molecule that we thought was so simple, we thought we knew everything about, way more adaptive than we thought. So maybe there's a way to create it that we haven't thought of, and then we'll be even closer to figuring out where we came from. The origin of all life, that is pretty rad. What is the biggest question you want science to answer? Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News.